Hi everyone, Miss Terry here again. Today we're going to work on following directions. Some of the directions will have words like in, on, next to, beside, in front, and behind. You'll have to listen for the words and watch to see what I do with the items in front of me. Let's try some. We're going to start with a pool. This is a tiny pool. You might have one at home. Here is a duck. We're going to follow some directions with the duck and the pool. Let's try some. This direction says, put the duck in the pool. Let's do that. Put the duck in the pool. Where is the duck? The duck is in the pool. Let's try another one. This one says, put the duck in front of the pool. I'm going to put the duck in front of the pool. Can you see that? I'm going to do that again. Put the duck in front of the pool. He's in front of the pool. Here's our pool again. This one says, put the duck behind the pool. I'm going to put the duck behind the pool. This is in front, here, and this is behind or in back. We put the duck behind the pool. Let's try this one. It says, put the duck next to the pool. When I put the duck next to the pool, I could choose this side or I could choose this side. Either way, my duck will be next to the pool. I'll leave him right here. He's next to the pool. I could also turn his face so you can see him better. He's still next to the pool. And even if I move him to the other side, he's still next to the pool. He is not in the pool. He's not in front of the pool. He is not behind the pool. He is next to the pool. Let's try some different items. Let's use the bridge. You might have seen this in one of my other videos. Here's a bridge. This time I'm going to use a car. This direction says, put the car on the bridge. Let's do that. I put the car on the bridge. Let's try this direction. This direction says, put the car under the bridge. I put the car under the bridge. Now it says to put the car next to the bridge. I could put the car next to on this side, or I could put the car on the other side. Either way, my car is still next to the bridge. It is not on the bridge. It is not under the bridge. It is not behind or in back of the bridge, and it is not in front of the bridge. It is next to the bridge. 
Now it says, put the car in front of the bridge. This is in front. The car is in front of the bridge. It is not under the bridge. That would look like this. That's under. Now it's in front. The car is in front of the bridge. It's not next to. It's not on or under. It's in front of the bridge. Let's try the frog and the lily pad. Here is my frog. And here is the lily pad. Lily pads float on ponds um, in small areas with water, usually places where the water's not very deep. The water's kind of shallow, so just a little bit of water. You might see the lily pad just floating on top like that. Sometimes frogs like to jump onto the lily pads while they wait there looking for and listening for flies and other insects they can eat. So frogs like to send their big sticky tongues out to catch bugs and other insects to eat and they may wait on a lily pad waiting for something to eat. So this direction says put the frog on the lily pad. Here I go. I put the frog on the lily pad. Where is the frog? He is on the lily pad. This one's going to be a little trickier. This one says, put the frog under the lily pad. That might look like this. The frog is under the lily pad. He might even be under the water. Where is the frog? The frog is under. He is under the lily pad and maybe even under the water. The next direction says, put the frog beside the lily pad. I can put him on this side or this side. Either way, the frog is beside the lily pad. Where is the frog? Beside the lily pad. The next direction says, put the frog behind the lily pad. Not next to, not on, not under and not in front. It says behind the lily pad. The lily pad is in front. Can you see that? And I put him behind. Even if I turn it like this, he's still behind the lily pad. Where is the frog? Behind the lily pad. Now the directions say to put him in front of the lily pad. Can you see that? Now he's in front of the lily pad. Where is the frog? He's in front of the lily pad. He's not next to it. He's not on it. He's not under. He's in front. Okay, we have one more set of these. This time we're going to use a bear, a teddy bear, and we're going to use a toy box. I'm going to turn my toy box upside down for a moment. This direction says to put the teddy bear on the toy box. 
I don't know if he's going to stay there all by himself. I think I might need to hold him. I am holding the teddy bear. He is on the toy box. He's not next to the toy box. He's not in front and he's not in back. He's on the toy box. Now I'm going to turn my toy box over and we're going to follow the next direction. The next direction says, put the teddy bear inside the box. Where is the teddy bear? He's inside the toy box. We could also say the teddy bear is in the toy box. This direction says, put the teddy bear beside the toy box. I can put him beside on this side or the other side. Either way, he'd still be beside the toy box. I could also say he's next to the toy box. The teddy bear is beside the toy box. We did it. This one says to put the teddy bear in front of the toy box. I'm putting him in front of the toy box. He doesn't like to stand up. He's in front of the toy box. Where is the teddy bear? He's in front. You might also notice on the other side, my cat is behind Miss Terry right now. The cat likes it when Miss Terry does her videos, so she comes to visit sometimes. She's going to go up and eat some breakfast. So the cat is behind Miss Terry eating her food, and the bear, our teddy bear, is in front of the toy box. Where is the teddy bear? In front. Where is Miss Terry's cat eating? Behind. Okay, this time it says, put the bear behind the toy box, just like Lily. Now the bear is behind the toy box. We can't see the bear as well because he's a little bit maybe hiding behind the toy box. We can only see his face. He's hiding behind the toy box. Where is the teddy bear? He is behind the toy box. All righty. I think we finished all of our directions for today. Thanks for playing Miss Terry, playing with Miss Terry, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.